Hello everyone, my name is Pixamite, and today I will be showing you how to combine two GIFs in Adobe Photoshop. In this example, I will be using this Pixelmite GIF and putting it on top of this cyberpunk themed GIF. Well, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go up to the top navigation bar here and select Window. Then go all the way down to the Timeline option. Just select that. A timeline would have popped up at the bottom of your screen. This shows each individual frame of the GIF you are currently viewing. Now that that's done, I'm going to go over to the Pixelmite GIF and notice that we have three frames available for this GIF. However, the Cyberpunk GIF has 72 frames. So this causes a problem because this GIF does not have enough frames to match up with this GIF. So to fix this, we need to add more frames to this GIF timeline. To do that, we can click the first frame, hold down shift and click the last frame. Then select the three lines on the right hand side and then select copy frame. Once you've done that, just click the three lines again and go paste frames. Now make sure the paste after selection button is checked. Then select OK. Now we have another three duplicate GIF frames added to our timeline. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. One sec. So the goal is to get 72 frames that match up with the other GIF. So you can also, because we don't want to do this in, for a really long time, you can also copy a few and then do the same process again, just to make the process a bit quicker. If there's a better process to doing this, please let me know in the comments, but this is how I do it. Okay, now we have 72 frames. Next, we need to copy all these frames by clicking on the first one and going all the way to the last one, holding shift and selecting it. From there, select the three lines and then go copy frames. Now we'll go over to our uh, Cyberpunk GIF and we are going to basically select the first frame, go all the way to the last frame, hold shift, select. Now we're going to click the three lines again and go paste frames. Please note that you now need to have the paste over selection option enabled. This will allow the GIF to be put on top of the current GIF that you have on canvas. So we'll just go OK here. And now you can see that the GIF is on every single frame. Now the last thing to do before it can be exported is to move this GIF frame or this GIF on every single frame to the center. So to do that, we need to go to the layers and scroll all the way up and you see there are three layers which are transparent. What we need to do is hold down shift and select all those three layers and make sure this little arrow move selection tool is selected. Then we'll just click the Pixelmite GIF and move it to the center. Once that's done, select file, export, then we'll go save for web. It'll just do its thing. And then just select save. And I'll just save it to my desktop and I'll call it Pixelmite GIF. And then it'll do its thing. Once it's saved, it should come up on your desktop. Pixelmite GIF. And there we go. You have successfully put one GIF on top of another one. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Laters.